Hi and welcome back to Neural Splendor. Tonight we're going to talk about pinning the crank on an ISX-15. Same thing applies for the ISX-12. Why do you pin the crank? You pin the crank whenever you're going to install the air compressor, the injection pump, or time the camshaft. Pinning the crank simply means putting the crankshaft in a precision, precise spot. You do that by inserting a pin into the side of the block through a specific hole. Tonight we're going to look at that hole where it's at. You're going to see the pin. There's a green stripe on the pin. All of that stripe needs to be just inside that hole. You'll get a visual on that. And then we're going to look at the vibration damper and see where the pin mark is on it. And you're going to get a view of it on the engine, you're also going to get a view of the front of the crankshaft with the vibration damper off so you can see where that dowel pin is. If you can find one mark on a rusty old damper that you can identify positively after watching this video, you can figure out approximately where to turn that crank so that you're really close with getting that timing pin in. Remember, we're doing this with the engine on a stand. When you're doing it in a truck chassis, it's not, not quite as easy. There's a lot of other stuff in the way. So if you can get really close visually, that's three quarters of the ball game under your belt. Okay, let's take a look at how to do this. There's a threaded O-ring plug in the hole where you see the timing pin. That's a Cummins part. It has a part number. Notice the green stripe is just inside of the block. That's how it has to be. To be incorrectly. If you draw an imaginary line through the center of the crankshaft and through this dowel pin, you can see that it goes just about through the center of the hole where the crank pickup sensor goes. So if you get your dowel pin very close to that, you're right, right there. And by the way, the crank is pinned now, so that is the position the crank has to be in for anything that you have to install that needs to be timed, which is the air compressor, injection pump, or the camshaft. Here we're looking at the vibration damper mounted on an engine, and I have marked on the face of the damper so it's easy to see. We'll go from clockwise starting at the top left, this TDC's top dead center, then position C on down, that would be position B on the bottom right, then on the bottom left is position A, and then a little farther up is pin. So when you want to pin the crank, you have to have that pin mark on the damper over at this point, right over here. And this is a small mark on the cover, and then there's a larger mark farther up. They're just a ribbed bump on the cover, and that's your alignment marks. Once you get some hours on these engines and miles on them, that damper will get rusted up from the salt and the weather and then it's hard to figure out where that pin mark is, the ABC. But you can find the location of that dowel by finding just one mark. And if you can find one mark, you can draw an imaginary center line from that mark, ABC, TDC, whatever, through the center line of the crank. And then using this photo that I've got here, you can see where the dowel pin in the crank is. And then earlier we learned that the dowel pin has to be almost in line with that crank sensor that's over on the right. And that'll help you get close enough to pin your crank correctly. Well, I hope this information helps somebody when they're in a pinch. That's why I do this. I've got lots of good stuff coming up. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Neural Splendor.